The Kepler telescope was a remarkable instrument built for a singular purpose, to explore a specific region of our Milky Way galaxy in search of exoplanets. During its mission, this exoplanet hunter observed hundreds of thousands of stars and unveiled thousands of previously undiscovered exoplanets. Welcome to you now. In 2009, the Kepler telescope embarked on its journey to the cosmos, launched aboard a Delta I rocket as part of NASA's discovery program. Its mission was clear, to continuously scan a fixed portion of the night sky within our Milky Way. Asterisk asterisk Kepler's features asterisk asterisk. At launch, Kepler boasted the largest primary mirror ever sent into space and a cutting-edge 96-megapixel camera for processing light. Astronomers were eager to determine the number of stars with planets orbiting around them, particularly those with conditions suitable for life. Over its nine years in space, Kepler closely observed 530,536 stars and confirmed the existence of an impressive 2,662 new exoplanets. These exoplanets showcased a stunning diversity, unlike anything seen in our own solar system. Some were significantly larger than Earth, orbiting so closely to their host stars that they completed revolutions in mere days. Others were even more peculiar, featuring star-facing sides with temperatures that could melt iron and hemispheres covered in molten rock oceans. Some exoplanets were the size of Jupiter, orbiting two stars, creating a binary sunset for any potential inhabitants. Asterisk, asterisk, Kepler's legacy, asterisk, asterisk. However, Kepler's most profound legacy lies in its discovery of Earth-sized exoplanets residing within the habitable zone, or Goldilocks zone, of their host stars. This zone offers temperatures conducive to water condensation, a critical ingredient for life as we know it. One exciting exoplanet Kepler discovered, called K218, made headlines in September 2019. Situated 124 light-years from Earth, K218 is about eight times the mass of Earth and three times larger. It orbits a red dwarf star, K218, which is the most common star type in the Milky Way. Asterisk, asterisk, Kepler's impact, asterisk, asterisk. Kepler's impact extended beyond its primary mission. It initiated a worldwide effort to reanalyze its extensive dataset. Scientific teams continue to revisit and confirm exoplanet discoveries, even uncovering potentially habitable planets like Kepler 1649c, located 300 light years away. This Earth sized exoplanet orbits a red dwarf star and shows promise for further study. Asterisk, asterisk, charling to asterisk, asterisk. However, the search for habitable exoplanets is not without challenges. Some planets are tidally locked with only one hemisphere facing their star, which is less than ideal for life. Others, similar to Neptune, have thick hydrogen envelopes that make conditions unsuitable for life. Additionally, red dwarf stars can be more active, subjecting planets to higher levels of damaging ultraviolet radiation. Surface temperatures on these exoplanets can range from frigid to scorching. Asterisk, asterisk, hopeful future, asterisk, asterisk. Nevertheless, the statistical analysis of Kepler's observations suggests promising possibilities. Astronomers estimate that roughly one in five stars similar to the Sun may host Earth-sized planets in habitable zones. In our galaxy alone, this translates to billions of potential habitable planets. Although Kepler is no longer operational, its discoveries have paved the way for future endeavors. The James Webb Space Telescope, set to launch in 2021, will delve deeper into Kepler's finds, bringing us closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? Asterisk, asterisk, conclusion, asterisk, asterisk. As we reflect on Kepler's incredible legacy, we anticipate an exciting future in which advanced telescopes, both in space and on Earth, will further explore the intriguing worlds hidden within Kepler's extensive dataset. What do you think astronomers will uncover next? Share your thoughts in the comments below.